Good evening. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? Very, very good night. Thanks. Good, very good. Good evening. Good evening, George. George looks like a military guy. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> you look like an army member. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. I love this, this coat. Yeah, I like short hair too. Yes. You know, in my case, this is long. This is long hair and I don't feel comfortable with it. I, I, I prefer short hair. I feel uh, fresh. When, yes, but, but when I uh, have a, a long hair, I feel suffocado. I, I don't say what to what say. Suffocado. Annoyed. You feel annoyed. Annoyed. Yeah. And I feel so hot. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. I, I was planning to go to the barber today, but I had to go do some something with my wife so we came back around 6 40 6 45 so it was too late so i said i'll leave it for tomorrow yep all right welcome back lorraine george maria yvette and saira thank you for being punctual thank you for being at nine o'clock all right any questions uh what's today's date Do you know the date? Yes. What's the date? <laughs> Today is August 11, 2021. Exactly. When is your birthday, Maria? What? When is your birthday? My birthday is um, January 10th. Okay. You, Lorraine? My birthday was yesterday. Really? Yes. Oh, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Okay. congratulations. <laughs> what about you, Yvette? When was your birthday? My birthday is July 28. July 28. Oh, recently. Yes. Okay. What about you, George? December 12th. What? December 12th. It's coming. <laughs> what about Saira? Saida? Yeah, my birthday is January 26. All right, good, good. Nice. All right, so let's begin. What topics did we cover yesterday? Do you mm -hmm. remember the topics? A little, a little of a zero conditional. Uh-huh. First conditional. And second conditional, right. And you know, every every single conditional has a completely different function from one another. Yeah. When do you use the zero conditional? When the things are real. When the things are real. Excellent. When do you use the first conditional? When there is something that is going to happen in the future. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Something that you do now with a result in the future. Yes. What is the second conditional? And a possibility. A hypothetical situation, or it's also a possibility, because they tell you, si usted se despertara temprano, eso quiere decir que se despierta tarde, right? <laughs> but Maria says it's a possibility. Maybe the person reflects and says. You're right. I'm going to start waking up early next week so you can change. So it becomes a possibility, right? So when you go to the doctor, the doctor gives you advice. Francisco, if you exercised more. Francisco, if you didn't smoke. Francisco, if you slept longer hours. So they start giving you advice. So you use the second conditional. Um, what is the other scenario when we use the simple past tense? Can you use wishes? Wishes. Me gustaría no usar lentes. How do you say that one? Wish didn't I wish. wear glasses. I wish I didn't wear glasses. Yep. 
Me gustaría no tener deudas. Desearía no tener deudas. Ok, I wish I didn't have debts. I wish I didn't have anything to pay. Right, ok. Me gustaría correr rápido. Desearía correr rápido. I wish I run. I wish okay. I ran fast. Okay. Faster. Yep. So any wishes, positive or negative, uh, yes. you must use the simple past structure. And there is no connection with the past. It's only that you're saying, excuse me, I need to use the simple past to express uh, these things here. Questions or comments about yesterday? No? Okay. Um, do you guys know your email address in English? Can you tell me your email address in English? My email address is uh, Mary A. My, with letter by letter? Or? Uh, that's a good question. If I said my email address is Francisco at, so everybody knows how to spell Francisco. Now, if Francisco in my email address is spelled with an unusual letter, then I need to clarify. So you say Francisco with Z, con Z. That's unusual. So, okay. So what is your email address, Maria? Yeah. Spell it. I have to spell it. Or... Uh, like I said, if you spell Maria normal, you don't need to go letter by letter. Oh, is, is, I I need to say letter by letter okay. by letter. Uh -huh. Okay, is M A R Y Y E. O F S. I don't know how can you say it? arroba. Okay, that was my question. <laughs> can you say your email in English? <laughs> All right, how do you say arroba in English, people? Sí, I don't know. Okay, arroba, you say at. At, yes, at. 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 Okay. How do you say how do you say guión in English? I think. Aha, uh -huh, good. You can say hyphen or you can say dash. Dash. Okay. Hyphen is el guión menor. Dash is el guión mayor. But okay. since we're talking about emails, no sabes si es un guión mayor o un guión menor. So you simply yeah. say dash or you simply say hyphen. Got it? So, para decir guión, usted va a decir hyphen o puede decir dash. How do you say guión bajo? Underscore. Huh? Underscore. Underscore, underscore. yes. Underscore. underscore. Okay. Anything else? How do you say pleca? Slash. Slash. Okay. Slash. Uh -huh. Punto. How do you say punto? Dot. Dot. Uh -huh. I hear dot. I hear point. If you're yeah. talk, if you're talking about emails, you should say dot. 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 If you're talking about numbers, then you say point. Ah, okay. If you're finishing a sentence. What is the correct word? Period. 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 Excellent. So dot is for emails. Point is for numbers. Period is to finish a sentence. Mm -hmm. Hay algo en su correo que no esté mencionado aquí ahorita, so we can include it. No. How do you say mayúsculas in English? Capital. 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 Capital letter. Tiene que ser 
Si su correo va con una mayúscula, it's your responsibility to say capital B, capital F, capital K, capital L. How do you say minúscula? Lowercase. 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 Okay. Any questions? Is there any other punctuation mark that people usually use in a uh, uh, in email? Maybe an asterisk? No. No. I remember that you told us uh, uh -huh. when we have to spell the email. Uh huh. We we have to say zero, no o. Uh, you can you can. Yes, because when you say O, O can be a zero or it can be an O. So if it's the number, it's better if you say zero. If it's the letter, you say O, right? Any questions or comments about your email? Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, how do you say unspersan? How do you say what? Aspersan. Aspersan? Yes. Aspersan is. What, what is our. How do you spell it? Oh, end. Yes, end. End. The end symbol. End symbol. Yes. Anything Thank else? You. Good, very good. Now, does your email have your name? How do you say Apollo in English? Nickname. 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 Good, Sylvia. So does your email have your name or does it have something like, I don't know, people make some strange names. Do you? Say la chelita, la morenita, el chato, and, and things like that. You use your name or do you use other names? I use my name. Right. I use my name too. I use my name too. All right. Uh, volunteer to write your email in the chat and tell us your email. This is your space to practice. This is your space to make mistakes. So one day you're speaking with someone from Canada, the States, uh, you need to tell them your email address. Okay. Yes, Nelson. Nelson uh, underscore Garcia at yahoo.com. Okay. Nos tendría que aclarar algo el ahí, algo. Uh, yeah, but it's an it error of the, when I pay because uh, my correct uh, email is all letter, it's lowercase. Okay, good. So even, y aun cuando dice él que fue un error, él tiene que aclarar y decir, everything is lowercase. Okay. Everything is lowercase. Very good. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. Another brave person, Sylvia. Okay, my my email is D, uh, is, all, is all in lowercase. Okay. If, I don't know, I have to say, uh, I have to spell the... Not, the not, or... not necessarily. ¿Qué creen okay. ustedes que es lo único que debería de, de, de aclarar ahí? It's in lowercase. Okay, lowercase, but what else? I don't know. Anybody? The first part. Okay, the baile silva. How do you know if it's one S or double S? So you say the virus Silvia, double S. Double S. Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead. My email is in lowercase and is the virus Silvia at gmail.com. Simple. And is with double, double S. Double S. Is that B as in um, 
Bravo or Vias in Victor? I don't know, repeat please. Is Vires with Vias in Bravo or Vias in Victor? Vias in Bravo. B as in Bravo. B as in Bravo. Very good. Porque recuerde, cuando van a sentarlos, hay veces que they make mistakes. Ponen la V en vez de poner la B labial. O ponen René con doble R al inicio. O René con doble E al final. So, all right. Someone else. How do you explain someone uh, the B is in Spanish ver la vida dental o labial? Okay. So you say labial B. Labial. Or you also say labial dental. Labial dental B. Ahora recuerde de que muchas veces la gente, aunque usted le diga labial o labidental, no va a lograr entender cuál está diciendo. Entonces la gente dice, ve de barco, ve de Venezuela, ve de Victoria. So, but the correct word is labial or labial dental. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, George. Go ahead, George. Uh, my mail only four case and Diaz with C. Okay. Is my uh, institutional email. Uh, email. Okay. What is it? Jorge Daniel dot Diaz at MH dot SP. Excellent. Diaz, is that Z as in zero or S as in Sandra? Sorry? Diaz, is that Z as in zero or S as in Sandra? Z as in zero. Good. All right, good. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Anybody else? Ah, no es que los demás no tienen correo, ya me acordé. Oh. <laughs> Todavía van al telégrafo a mandar cartas y telégrafos y cosas así. Teacher, uh -huh. how, how do you say arroba? At. 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 Yes, event. Eh, eh, eh. I, I am Ana. I am Ana. Okay. Yeah. Eh. At. 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 My my email uh, write it, email. write it, write it, write it in the chat. Your next event. <laughs> Anna, are you writing your email in the chat? Uh, please. <laughs> okay, Yvette, what is your email address? My email address is Yvette Lara L. L or L? At Yahoo. L. L at. Uh -huh. Yes, Yvette. L. At Yahoo.com. Okay, at Yahoo.com. <laughs> Double, Double T. Uh -huh. Yvette, is that via in victory or via in boy? Via in victory. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Uh, someone else? My email address, teacher, is, uh, is personal. Um, uh, it is A N C A R R. Okay, but, but write it in the chat. Write it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Okay. Okay, my email address uh -huh. is Carla Enriquez a at email.com. Okay, did you write it in the in the chat? Oh yeah, it's right there. Yes. Okay, can you please repeat it? My email address is Carla Enriquez a at gmail.com. Okay. 
eight, is eight the number or do you spell eight? Uh, in number. Okay, eight. good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Maria Moran, what is eight. your email address? My email is M A R Y E O O of F S at hotmail.com. Okay, FS, is that S as in Salvador or F as in uh, Foxtrot? It's F as in Salvador. S as in Salvador. Okay, S good. Salvador. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Ana Menjibar. My email address is Ancarazo. Eh, eh, dot, dot. At. At. Do, uh, hotmail.com Okay, Carazo, is that Z as in Zoo or S as in uh, Sonia? Z as in Zoo. Z as in Zoo. As in Zoo. Is an Zoo. As in Zoo. Okay, Rosa Lopez. My email is Rosa Lopez. 0300 at gmail.com. Okay, good. Lopez, is that Z as in zebra or S as in uh, Sandra? Yes, zebra. Uh, zebra. Zebra. Okay, good, good. Michelle Munoz, what is your email address? My email address is Michelle Munoz Bell at gmail.com punto com dot dot, dot com ah perdón okay <laughs> okay bell is that one l or double l is a uh, one no, two l <laughs> two l's what about okay. michelle one l or double l double l okay good thank you felix Hi, teacher. Good night. I am sleeping. I'm good, evening. good evening. Good evening. Good <laughs> evening. No, okay, good evening. Oh, my email is Felix Ernesto Soriano. Uh huh. At um, email that uh, point. Uh -uh. That, that. That. That com. That com. Very good. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Congratulations. Anybody else? Anybody else? My email address. Write it, write it, put it in the chat. Upper chat. Yeah, you need to put it in the chat so I can pay attention to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Uh huh. Sorry, I am late because I had a problem. Don't worry, you, you, you were having dinner. Okay, don't worry, okay. no problem. My um, email address is, uh, I don't know. Uh, Jose? I, I, I had a mistake. A mistake. Okay. Uh, is, uh, is Edgar that punto Ochoa? It is correct. Okay. Edgar uh, dot punto Ochoa. Punto, punto Ochoa. Punto, you say punto Ochoa? Yes. That. That. Yeah. Uh -huh. That Ochoa 2006. Uh, arroba, I don't know how to uh -huh. say. How do you say arroba class? At. 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 Gmail. At. Uh, dot com. Dot, dot, dot com. <laughs> <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Adrian Montoya. Adrian, are you here? Adrian, Adrian. Okay, uh, Jenny Ramos. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. Uh-huh. My, my... 
Jenny? Yes. My address. My is, email address. My email address is Jenny Ramos 072 at gmail.com. Excellent. Very good. All mm -hmm. right. Anybody else? Anybody else? No. Okay. So remember, at this time, it is mandatory that you guys know your email in, in, in English. All right, good. So uh, how many tenses are there in English? 12 tenses. 12 tenses. What is the first tense? Simple, Simple present. Simple present. What's the auxiliary you use to make questions in the simple present? We use to, 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 to and does. What happens, what happens to the verb when you're saying something positive with the third person singular? We use that. Add S. Add S. You add S or ES to the verb. Yes. So she plays basketball. She runs every morning. She teaches mathematics and he fixes computers. Okay. Now, what happens when the information is negative? Use what do you say? Auxiliary doesn't. Doesn't with the third person singular, yes. right? And what is the other option? Don't. 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 Okay. Now I'm gonna show you uh, an exercise, and each exercise has a mistake. It is your responsibility to identify mistake let me show it to you can you see it yeah yes okay let me see this here all right right there so for example number one it says he go to bed very early the message is clear but grammatically speaking it's not good what is the correct form he goes to bed very mm -hmm. early no. so let me Look for this image and send it to your. Mm -hmm. Volunteer. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Is do teacher? Do do they live in Canada? Teacher in a mood. Okay, so I was looking for the, where's this, right here. Uh -huh. Nine to 10, nine to 10. Yeah. Right there, did you receive the questions? Yeah. Okay, let me prepare your partner. 21 people, that's a good number. What part of the platform are you guys doing right now? Did you finish? Teacher, yes, I finished. Yes, teacher. Yes, I finished. Teacher, I finished. Excellent. Pero me en dos y me bajó el porcentaje, creo. Okay, so what was your percentage at the end? Uh, in the final exam, is 94 or 84. Okay. Pero no sé si es porque me equivoqué, porque todos están buenas. Okay. Good. All right. So I'm going to put you to pair uh, to work in pairs and identify the mistakes in each uh, exercise. Here we go. Go ahead. Jenny, Jenny.
All right, all right. Welcome back. So let's check the answers. Ha, ha, ha. Right here. Okay, volunteer to fix number two. Uh huh. Me. Go ahead, do please. They, do they live in Canada? Excellent. Do they live in Canada? Another volunteer to fix number three. Uh, me. Go ahead. Uh, I usually cook dinner for my family. Excellent. Number four, someone else. Teacher. Uh huh. We need we need more time. Okay, don't worry. We'll we'll do it all together. What is number What is number four? They have a meeting. Do they? Do they? Do they have a meeting? Do they have a meeting every week? What about number mm -hmm. five? She don't like tennis. Yeah. She doesn't like tennis. She doesn't like tennis. Excellent. Does John has enough money? Does John, John have, have enough money? Excellent. Have Does John have enough, enough money? money? He knows the answer. He knows the answer. He knows the answer. He knows the answer. What about number eight? Robert plays baseball on the weekend. Robert plays. Okay. How do you spell plays? P L A Y S. Excellent. P L A Y S. Very good. What about number nine? They have okay. lots of free time. They, they have. have. They lots. have lots of free time. Good. What about number ten? Do they usually drive to work? Do they usually drive to work? Excellent. Very good. Nice. 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 Congratulations. Any questions or comments? No? No. Okay, repeat, good. Repeat number 10, please. Sure. Do they usually drive no. to work? No ING in driving. Drive. Oh, okay. Thank yes. you. Yes. Okay, good. Anybody else? Any other questions the, or comments? The, uh -huh. number, the number four. The correct form. What is it? Do they have a meeting every week? Do they? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Change yes. the bear the bear R for the form to do the exactly. auxiliary do. Exactly. Okay. You change R for the auxiliary do. That is correct. Teacher. Yes. And correct when we say are they having a meeting every week? It's correct, but then you will be saying it in present continuous. It's good. But then you're changing the uh, the tense. You go from the simple present to the present continuous. But it's okay. good too. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Anybody else? Any other questions, comments? Teacher number three. Uh huh. I usually, not am. I usually. Thank you. Good. Anybody else? Remember, this is your space to ask all the questions that you have. Questions or comments? No? Number 11. Excuse me? Disappear. Number 11 disappear. Uh, number 11, oh. Jenny does not work at a restaurant. Jenny does not work at a restaurant. Yes. Any other questions or comments, people? We are using Jenny isn't working. It's okay too. So uh, Ailey's comment is similar to what um, Flor asked. So can you say yeah. Jenny isn't working at a restaurant? Yes, I you forget. Can. I forget we are in present simple exactly. and convert to present and continuous. continuous. Exactly. Yes. So your, your answer is good, but in a different tense. 
Yeah, okay. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? All right. So let's change. Let's do some speaking so you improve your uh, fluency and your accuracy. Uh, do you drive? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you drive, are you completely concentrated in the driving or do you check your cell phone sometimes? In a motorcycle. Be honest. <laughs> in a motorcycle. Oh. In a motorcycle to concentrate. Uh huh. Yeah. And, and you know, believe it or not, I have seen people in motorcycles, they're using one hand. And with yeah, the I other one, they're that. texting. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. playing with their lives, you know, in the middle yeah. of traffic. Oh, my God. But anyways, uh, so in a car, even in a car, it's dangerous, you know, to drive and use yeah. the cell phone at the same time. Now, yeah. imagine if you do it in a motorcycle. It's way more dangerous. Anyways, now, what is one of the main reasons why there are many car accidents in El Salvador? Why? Not, uh, distraction. Because people. Distraction. Use, what kind uh, of distraction? Cell phones. Yeah. Cell phones. Cell phones. Cell phones. Cell phones. Uh, okay. Alcohol. 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 Mm. Alcohol. Me makeup. 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 Yes. <laughs> Some ladies, they use the car as they, like they are in their room. Like, they're like. Eating. You know, they're, or, or yeah, eating, yeah, but yeah. eating is a little bit yeah. more manageable. Lack of culture. <laughs> yeah, so you know, like you're using the cell phone, you're eating, you're you're looking for music, you're looking for something in the car. Everything is distraction, right? Right. So uh, let me show you. Or texting, texting with your cell phone. Right. Yeah. Because if you answer, you know, and you're speaking, you might get distracted, but you still need to pay attention to the to the road. Now, when you're texting, you lose everything. So okay. let me show you this. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Where is it? Uh -huh. I had it over here. Distracted driving. It's, yeah. Is next to. Oh, yes. Person. Right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's right here. Okay, can you see the questions? Can you? Yes. yes. Okay. So we have some questions that need to be answered. Let me take a picture and send it to your WhatsApp chat. I will recreate the, so you can work with someone different. You can take a screenshot right now if you wish. If not, you can, um, if you wanna take a screenshot, you can use the image that I will send to the WhatsApp chat right now. All right, so let me arrange your pairs, recreate, recreate, and gonna move this person here. Hmm. Right there. And that way everybody has a partner. What did I do? Teacher. Yes, Ailey. What is what is the the meaning of uh, well being in the second sentence? Uh, let me see it. How important is your safety and well being? El estar bien. Oh, yeah, okay. well being. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me see. Where is everybody? Break our rooms. Ailey, you're supposed to be 
Nelson, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hi. Okay. You're supposed to be in room 10 with Rosa. Oh, yes. But I, I'm in this room. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Maybe if you leave the session and come back again, and I can assign you to a, with a classroom. Okay. I, I try now. Try, please. All right, give me a second. Right there. You're going to room one, Nelson.
equate this situation. For that reason, I think that that uh, driver uh, is distract, distracting. Okay. Yeah. I, Myself. Okay. And the number, the number four, quickly. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody do something? For, I don't know, uh, letting is like, permitir so. Mm -hmm. Walking or trying. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe the teacher. Oh, I think. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Did you have a question? I heard Billy said maybe the teacher something. Yes, uh, the 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 score num number seven. Number don't... seven. Let me check okay. number seven. Uh, how can society discourage people from letting their phone distract them while walking or driving? That's a long question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. So, como, what is the question exactly? Como la sociedad desanima o desalienta uh -huh. a la gente. Uh -huh. Como la sociedad puede desanimar a la gente de dejar que el teléfono lo distraiga mientras caminan o manejan. That's the meaning mm -hmm. of it. Maybe with uh, some advertising. Okay. To be uh, consciousness. Um, yeah, awareness. Awareness. So. Right. Yeah. Or maybe uh, penalties that are more strict. Maybe. More strict. Yes. Could no, be. No <laughs> the people don't don't respect the the law. The, yeah. The they law. don't respect the law exactly. The law. Yeah. They, right. they need more, more, more uh, severe, severe, uh, severe. Uh, yeah, uh, more penalty. severe laws, penalties too. Good. Yes. Paco Raban, Dior. Hi, Mister. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Right now, Hi, talking about about the title word that I have. <laughs> and what is your job? I um, work in a duty free, but uh -huh. uh, I'm the BA of Chanel. So um, I'm saying to, to Sa Sa Saira. Saira, Saira yes. uh -huh, yeah. I say to Saira that today was my day off, but uh, I have to go to the job because uh, I have to, how do you say inventario? Um, uh, what's the word? It's stock. Yeah, it's you, not. yeah you can say stock, but um, there, there is a different word. Yeah, stock is inventario. So you check the stock. Uh -huh, I'm check the stock because some of the product of Chanel are going to broken. <laughs> What kind of products are you talking about? For example, fragrance, makeup, and treatment. Oh. So they're going to broken because there are Proximo Havencer. They will expire soon. Ah, okay. They will expire soon. So I have to check uh, all the stock products uh, to... Uh mm hmm and what do you do with these products that they that they expire soon? They broke. <laughs> really? Literally? Yes, literally. It's sad, and because I I say it to 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 say that that is sad because, uh, and and she asked me to me that if they don't give me that product and they don't because uh, for them it's um, like better that destroy it it's okay to say like that yeah destroy it this, destroy it and have a reembolso yeah a reimbursement real 
how do reimbursement you reimbursement real bus both men reimbursement of, uh -huh. of that product okay all right oh i didn't them. i didn't know that they literally uh broke the products yes and and, and believe me that it's a lot of money that they yeah. are because I, i'm saying to to sarai that only a one fragrance uh, the price is 131 exactly and a treatment cost 100 and i don't know yep. how much yep. 130 or something like that so it's sad because i can have that i i, I can they can give it to me and i can use it right or right or right give to another person and also give to all my my I don't know. I don't remember how to say compañeras. Co-workers. Um, Co-workers. Uh, so, yeah. but they don't do that because the brand is like that. Yeah. Because no, all the brands are like that because, for example, there is different uh, brands there because in, in the duty free, you're going to find fragrance, liquids, and treatment. Okay. And makeup too. Okay. So not all the, the oh, not all the brands are like that because, for example, three months ago, uh, I we have some products of Luxitan that they going to that they gonna. It's I don't know how to say. It, how to say it. uh, they soon. expire soon. Uh, they expire soon. Expire soon. I gonna remember. Uh, they expire soon. But they give us a pro that product. Yeah. So okay. I think that the brand is like that because uh, it's, it's channel is exclusive. Yeah. yeah, very exclusive, a very expensive brand. Yes, I think that for that reason they right they do that. that they okay. Do that. <laughs> All right. Let's return to the main session. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Welcome back. Do you have any questions or comments about today's class? Remember, we only have three more sessions. Uh, we finish the week tomorrow, and then next week we only come Monday and Tuesday, and then hopefully we start the next level the following Monday. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Teacher, how do you say emisora? Uh, like a radio station? Yeah. Yeah, radio station. Okay. I, I don't know if there is a specific word for emisora, but I usually like a... say radio station. I heard the, the word dial. Uh, oh, dial. Spanish. Dial. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe dial. Yes. Maybe dial. Okay, uh -huh. Dial. Good. Thanks. All right. Have a good yeah. night, people. Yeah. Sleep well. Good night. Yes. Someone had a question? No? Okay, bye-bye. No. Bye-bye.